Hey everyone, this is Jordan, and this is a HTPC setup. Um, what I've got here is a homemade antenna with a cable running to, instead of a TV or a cable box, it's running to an HTPC or home theater PC as they call it. Um, and then from there, it runs to the TV. So what I can do is I'm actually using the HTPC computer as a PVR box or personal video recorder. So um, just like what you would pay for a TiVo subscription, uh, except <clears throat> there's no monthly fee. It's just your own computer. So um, it's got a it's a regular computer with just a, a few added features. Obviously, um, you can see it's much more appealing. Um, it actually looks like a receiver or just a DVD player without looking at it too closely. Um, that closes up so it, you can see it fits nicely in most entertainment centers. Um, there's a, a lot of different styles of these. So what it's got is a Blu-ray player, an infrared receiver, now a lot of these cases actually come with that built into it. This one does not, so this is a USB um, external device for to work with the remote control. And in the front, I just pop that open, and you've got your inputs, car, a card reader for your uh, memory cards for say your digital camera, so you can plug them right in, load them up, and uh, and be done with it. Um, you've got USB um, inputs and for devices or flash cards and then you've got um, audio also firewire and SATA if you use that and that's pretty much it so I just close that back up and in the back uh, you can't see it but it's um, in one of the PCI slots it's got a TV tuner card that's what that what that's what's allowed what allows it to um, take the TV and bring it into the computer. It actually tunes the signal um, <clears throat> and turns it into video. So now this is just like TiVo. You can this is actually a recorded program, but it works the same. If it wasn't, I, uh, here's the remote control. I can just pause live TV. Now here's the remote. Um, it's a it's actually built for Windows um, for a computer and it's got all your navigation for while you're watching video you can actually um, power on your computer on or off with this button right here um, browsing through the menus also you have a recorded TV button guide button you have a guide which is downloaded off the internet um, live TV and uh, all your um, numbers and whatnot so I'm just gonna hit my guide button here and here I can view the guide. Now this is just uh, standard TV, it's not cable but it will work with cable just the same. Now I don't have to do this at all, it's done automatically. I'm not gonna get into any more detail that's in uh, another video I posted so um, that's pretty much how it works. So works real seamlessly um, as far as uh, output, the output is just whatever your video card is. So, say you have a uh, an older TV, you may have to get a converter from, say, <clears throat> uh, VGA or DVI to a component or um, uh, just uh, composite. Um, otherwise, a lot of video cards nowadays have HDMI output. This one does, and actually, in this case, I'm running DVI to the TV and just regular sound to my stereo. So, if you had a TV with HDMI that you wanted to run sound and video, all you would do is buy a special cable that's um, one and would actually plug into your sound off your video, your sound card, and your HDMI. Uh, port um, unless your motherboard supports um, sending sound through your video card which most of them don't and this one doesn't so not a big deal it's just um, 
it's a pretty easy fix. So that's pretty much it. Um, and this records up to 800 hours of TV, which is uh, enough for most people, I would say. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.